Amigos and amigas, welcome back to a brand new video. I don't know if I'm going to start doing this more often, but you know, a lot of people have been sending me fan art and I can't post it to my Instagram every single day. So what I'm going to do from now on until the fan art runs out, I'm going to try to show off one or two pieces of fan art at the start of the video like this. I want to give a big thanks to these amazing people for making fan art of the one, the only, the CEO of Taco Sensitive Society. I love it. This one's really cute. <laughs> Peace out, amigos. Love that one. So thank you both for the fan art. It really means a lot. And if you want to send me any, follow my instagram so thank you very much for the fan art i love it i appreciate it now let's get into the video i found some dms i found some messages from people i found some really funny slash disturbing slash please tell me this is fake just just please tell me i'm getting baited and all of these following dms are faked so this is a post that i found on reddit it says a friend of mine being a nice guy while my sister was dying this man has no limits i know your sister's dying she's probably not going to make it but i gotta hit them dms i i, I gotta see them boobies <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like, some guys have the nerve to ask for explicit images while your mom is fucking dying oh wait my mom's in the hospital she just got into a car accident um can I see your feet actually can you send me a video of your feet while you're waiting in the hospital next year that would be really appreciated all right so let's just get into this creepy dm the guy says how's our sister doing she's on her deathbed so i'm praying for her what's wrong she's got a rare lung disease that she's struggling to fight so far nothing that cringe nothing that loco except for the how's our sister doing like unless you guys are like dating or like really really close i don't think this is appropriate especially when you know the sister's fucking dying the guy says i'm sorry but she'll pull through just wait and see i don't know man it's been there for three months now baby girl she'll be fine don't worry everything will be okay i don't know if these people are close i mean the girl really isn't saying oh honey oh using those type of words so i'm guessing this guy's just really cringe and thought to himself you know this girl's feeling pretty down right now she's feeling sad and alone it's my shot i mean who cares if her sister's dying of a lung disease i gotta hit them dms now i mean it's now or never tipped fedora does a sex offender shuffle i think that's what this guy's <laughs> which makes it even worse i mean just imagine waiting until one of your crush's family members is dying to make your move you don't do it before or after right when they're in the hospital this is like common sense 101 the guy says are you going to sleep i was going to say would it be disrespectful to no to what sleep it wouldn't be to experiment if you're willing bro her sister is dying i want your mom to be dying and then the girl to hit hey you down to uh do something edgy you down to do something crazy with me right now even your mom's fucking dying right now are you huh because in that moment when that's going on that's the last thing that's crossing your mind the only thing that's on your mind is man i hope my sister pulls through man i hope my mom pulls through now can i see your butt and can i see it in 4k like come on bro come on how down bad do you need to be in order to do this i gotta love it would it be disrespectful like yeah you fucking idiot <laughs> i'm sorry but i'm not up for it no worries baby girl i'll be patient and wait until you're comfortable enough to oh the cringe isn't the no um experiment what i'm sorry don't those give it away that she wants no part of you whatsoever like i swear to god some guys can take a hint i mean it's pretty fucking obvious then the guy says i'm sorry then it's blurred but it's this unsolicited picture and it says fuck sorry wrong chat yeah right you didn't do this by accident you wanted to send the dick pic i mean bro come on no one wants to see your fucking warm your dry ass musty warm if i was the girl i would block the guy immediately i Actually, I would have blocked him the second he called me baby girl in 2021 when my sister's dying. Like, at that point, I'll be like, you know what? Fuck you. And I hope you get penis cancer. And this guy just casually drops an inappropriate picture on the chat while the sister's griefing. And her sister's right next to her fucking dying. You sort of gotta respect it. I mean, his game is strong. Actually, no, it's fucking weak. <laughs> but I guess his self-esteem is pretty high. I guess that's good that he's willing to send, you know, a picture of his penis to a girl whose sister's dying. So this is something else so here we have another text and it's even worse hey beautiful how are you who is this jason i met you a while ago on match lol i'm 53 bro you're 53 and you're on a dating app like bro come on don't you have like a son or a daughter to take care of i mean your daughter probably has an only fans i'm sorry about that weird my phone doesn't normally delete previous conversations i'm sorry i don't remember but i'm currently seeing someone though best of luck to you though i mean that's as best of a response you can give it's honest straight to the point and you would think that's where the guy would say oh that's completely fine i mean i'm 53 as a matter of fact i just got a notification that i need to visit my daughter it's her 25th birthday i'm gonna head out peace out right i mean that's what any normal person will do but no this guy keeps going 
and it gets messy oh no problem and that's unfortunate i was going to see if i could fly you out on my jet to the bahamas but wish you the best bro you don't have a jet you gotta chill and pay your mortgage and make sure you pay your daughter's college tuition because ain't no way you have a jet because if you had a jet and you had all this money will you really be hitting her up there's like a million thoughts who will take that offer hell i'll even take that offer honestly then the conversation goes on it's really nothing that relevant the guy just keeps insisting on can i see you naked can i see you naked like that type of behavior which is really cringe and no girl wants to hear that no girl wants to hear hey you're hot can i see your naked body unless she belongs to the streets and then yeah that's likely to happen but for the most part girls don't like that believe it or not <laughs> and then the conversation ends with well that's unfortunate i would love to trade pics with you but i'm happy you're satisfied lol honestly Will you be okay to raid my penis? I mean, that's one way to start a conversation or get blocked. <laughs> How to get blocked in five seconds or less that's it guys that's how the conversation ends and this guy's probably surprised why don't girls hit me up i mean i am so nice i am so friendly i am so humble and i always ask girls random girls online that i find well, online to rate my dick i mean what's wrong with me why am i not getting more matches all right guys thank you very much for watching i have excuse me i'm gonna go ask a random girl if she wants to rate my dick on instagram all right take care of yourself follow me on instagram and please make me rich i beg you please or else i'm gonna have to belong to the streets <laughs> peace out amigos and amigas take care